Valentine's Day. Hi, everybody. Hello. Welcome to our channel. We're glad to be here today. Yes. It was church day today, and we had a good, good service. We had a wonderful service awesome. this morning. And it's snowing. It's snowing. It's cold. It's very cold. In fact, if you want to, let's just look out the window real quick so you can see what we got going here. Oh, let me move the chair. There's our backyard. It's snowing horribly. It's supposed to be like this for... 12 hours. So like nine more hours. Mm-hmm. So, anyways. So... It's going to be our fun day today. share with you our third day our third day at disney. third day at disney mm -hmm. which was a saturday which is my favorite day and we went to the magic kingdom which is my favorite part and so we got up like at eight o'clock that morning got dressed got us a bite to eat and then we rode the bus the magic express to the magic, magic kingdom, kingdom. My and favorite. we got there by 8 30 Went yes. through security and everything, and they had this big grand opening ceremony they do it every day when Magic Kingdom opens. Mm -hmm. And so we got to see their, that right there part, and it was really good. Yeah, we had never seen it before, of course, we only went. Yeah, but anyway, we had never seen that, and that was something that we really wanted to do, and it was really neat. And they have, I guess, is it the mayor? Yeah, the mayor. The mayor comes out and he announces and all the characters are coming in riding the train and they, they pick a family that gets to, um, you know, come out. I think that's really special that they do that for certain things. So it was really it was cool. Fun. It was a lot of fun. And then... It was by far our longest day on our Disney vacation yes. because they had extended Disney uh, uh, magic hours that day and the park had not closed till 2.30. I think it was too like two o'clock. Two o'clock that morning. So we there we were there from eight forty five till mm -hmm. two AM. And on that day my mile tracker on my phone said we walked sixteen, 16 miles. Sixteen miles. On that one day going all over Disney World. So we had a good time. My yeah. feet hurt so bad. She wore blisters on her feet. I wore blisters. And they were there almost the entire trip. It was almost like my the rest of the trip. It wasn't, wasn't ruined, but if I had to do it over again, I would have taken better shoes. But our previous trip where we had went, I wore flip-flops the entire time and was fine. And I walked. You were younger then, though. Not much younger, <laughs> like a year and a half younger, or two years, whatever. Anyways, not funny. Um, I wasn't that much younger, but I was able to do it, and I didn't get one blister. My feet never hurt. Maybe I was just in better shape than you would then. Um, anyway. I think the shoes had a lot to do. I think the shoes had a lot to do. So just my flip-flops that I wore the previous time, they were padded and everything. I didn't wear them that day. I wore some slip-on shoes that I had, just bought them. And they weren't like really good quality shoes. So I will never do that again. I will make sure that I wear good tennis shoes. Make sure you wear some good walking shoes. Yeah. Something that's already broken. Yeah. Something you can walk for a lot of hours. But um, normally we have lots of videos to show of our trip. But for some reason, that day we didn't really make a whole lot of videos. I think we were just, it was so busy and we are trying to take in a lot of Magic Kingdom because um, we knew that that was going to be the longest that day. We just really wanted to take it in. I mean, any 
anybody who's been to Disney knows that you can't see everything in one day. You just, I think, I don't, I think you could be there for months on end and never see everything. There's just no way. Yeah. And it changes so if, much. If you was to just go through and try to go from store to store that's in there, I don't think you would actually be able to go through all of those stores in there. You kind of if you ran through there, because if you was to go through and look at each and every store, you wouldn't be able to do it all. Over. But, yeah, I think you're right. But we did have a good time that day. Magic Kingdom, like you can say, is my favorite park. I love Magic Kingdom. I think it's just because when you think of Disney World, you think of Magic Kingdom. Because mm-hmm. you have Cinderella's castles there, and just really, really... I don't know. That's just, maybe that's just me. Probably other people have a different opinion. But to me, going to Disney World means going to Magic Kingdom. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's just, I just say that because it's my favorite part. That day, it was so busy at the park that we, we as soon as we got through and took some pictures and everything, we went right back to the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train thinking we'd be able to get on. But there was already a 45-minute wait just to get on to the yeah. Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. So we went around the park, and of course, you always have to do Splash Mountain. We love Splash Mountain. We did the Thunder Mountain Railroad. We went and did Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, several different things to there, and we kept checking the wait time at uh, the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, because it is the new attraction at Magic Kingdom. And the line did not go down until about 11 o'clock that night, and so that was one of the last things we did that day. But it is, a, it is a nice ride, but for all the hype that they place behind it, it should be a longer ride. I agree with that. It's a good ride. I mean, any ride really that you ride at Disney World is a good ride at this time. But it wasn't very long. Um, the one thing that we were worried about because we had, you know, it's um, Seven Dwarfs Mine, Tra- Mine Train is a new ride. And so, all I mean, every ride at Disney, we can ride. And obviously, we're... Not you know, we're well built people and we can ride it. but we had kept hearing like you know if you weigh more than 150 pounds you're gonna have a hard time riding this ride and I was really kind of worried I thought but they were men bigger than me though that rode the ride yeah and so he actually rode it first because I was like I don't want to get on there and be embarrassed because I'm too big and I can't fit and he got there and he's like you will be able to uh, the one thing about Seven Dwarfs Mine Train is the way that the lap bars are, it's skinny, so it's, it's kind a of... rail. It's made like this. It's like an upside down U. Yeah, so it comes like, it comes over Cross your like knees. This. So you have to, um, it is a little tight on your legs, it, you know, if you're not... I think that would probably be for really any adult, um, that it's going to be a little bit tighter on your legs, but we had no problems riding it. It was fun. Um, so, I mean, unless you're just a lot longer than you want, I think that, you know, you will have plenty of room to ride that. It was it was a fun ride. But I wish, I, I do wish it would have been a little bit longer. It just seemed like it was over as soon as it started. And um, it was not my favorite ride, and I thought it might be one of my favorites. But. Some of the rides at Disney, it seems like if you... Ride them. Every time you ride them, you see something different. Like Splash Mountain, you know, it's telling the story of Burr Rabbit and Burr Fox and Burr Bear. Every time you go through there, you see something different that you don't always see until you really, if you, like, while we were there, I think we did Splash Mountain four full times. But we saw something different every time we were there. Same way with the Haunted Mansion. It, it yeah, changes just, every time you go through there. You see something different yeah. coming out. Not necessarily that it, that it changes, but you just see... Different you aspects. You see aspects of it because you're looking at a different yeah. looking at it from a different angle, I guess. But just keep that in mind about so If you're worried about not being able to ride it, we can ride it. We can ride we it. Had, we had a lot of fun. Yeah. But, so that day we... Think we what was our food reservation that day? Was that Tony's? We ate at Tony's that we day. We did, which mm-hmm. is right. This is you go through the gate, mm-hmm. right on Main Street. It's right next door to where the first character uh, signing and picture is, which mm-hmm. is usually where Mickey Mouse. Yeah, is. Mickey Mouse is there, and I and I'm trying to Liberty was, Hall. Liberty Hall, yeah, right there by Liberty Hall. Close to yeah. Yeah, so um, but we had never eaten there before. His mom and dad ate there last time. 
they just went in and got dessert yeah. or coffee. And they were like, oh, it's such a neat little place. That's good. We, I had the uh, stuffed rigatoni. Mm -hmm. And you had the baked spaghetti. No, well, I think no. I got the out, like the chicken alfredo. That's what was. Like that. But um, with our meal plan, our dessert was included. And so I got the, um, the cheesecake. It's like a little cheesecake dessert. But it was really cute and it had, I'll show a picture of it so you'll see. Right here's the picture. So it had Lady in the Tramp and um, it was just really cute. It is probably Yeah, it's just cute. Yeah, my mm -hmm. So, anyway. So we did eat there and the food was really good. Um, but we had just ridden Splash Mountain and we got soaked. Yes, we did. So that's why it's not fun. We got more wet on the parts of the Caribbean, but that was later on our trip. Yeah. She was mad. It was mad. But it's a water ride. <clears throat> I don't think you should get no wet figure. on Pirates of the Caribbean. It's a water ride. <laughs> anyway, that's okay. I think you wouldn't get wet on a water ride. Okay. okay. Well, you don't get wet on all, some of them. You get wet on the, It's a Small World. Lord knows, it's going like a half mile an hour. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to get wet because I think the last time that we were there and we were Pirates of the Caribbean, we didn't get wet. So I thought, well, we're not going to get wet. We did. I was we did something this trip that we didn't do in our last uh, trip. We went into the uh, Tiki Room. Yes. And if you remember any of the old Walt Disney shows, it actually shows the robotic birds that Walt Disney would talk to. They are actually in the Tiki Room. And it's really neat. Tiki 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 Room. The Tiki 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 Room. Isn't that the That's song? That's what it is, yeah. Yep. That was a lot of fun. And then we got us a pineapple slushy thing. The Dole Whips. Yes, those are good. We had never oh, had Dole Whips those. before, but we... Um, I think we had three or four of those while we were there. Some friends of ours went, they and they liked them. And then another channel that we watch on YouTube, they were talking about, I'm like, well, we need to get oh, a Dole Whip, and it was really good. We ate it's supper. Like my favorite thing now. We ate supper that night over at Tortuga Bay, that little restaurant yeah. there. And it's like a... Mexican flavor type. Yeah. It was really good. It was good. We had good. Yeah. It was Not a good, good for a quick service place. But also that day, one good. of the bands from Indiana, they were there, and they do during the parade. Sometimes they have like high school bands or whatever come in, and one of the bands from Indiana, I cannot remember which band it was. Lafayette High School. Maybe it was. I don't know, but they were there, and um, they. They got the march and the parade. Really cool. the yeah, we did see the electric parade. And the fireworks show. And the way they light up the castle the is amazing. That is cool. That is it's so neat. Tinkerbell actually comes out of the castle and goes across on a zip line. That's really all cool. across into the, the downtown Main Street area mm -hmm. into a building. That's pretty neat. Yeah. Oh, okay. It was my favorite day. So just um, we had so much fun that day. You can't take everything in when you go to Disney World. You cannot. And you really just shouldn't even try to. You know, you need to set out and look. These are things that we really want to do. And um, you need to do it. And the good thing with Disney is you have fast passes. So if there's rides that you want to ride, you pick those, the first three that you want to ride out. And you can do, um, you can ride those three. And then after you've used those three, um, then you can go back and get fast passes for other attractions. But um, if they're really busy, um, there are a couple things that we want to ride. You just and can't fast get passes are just not available. Especially at Epcot. Yeah, so. Um, Hollywood Studios is the same thing. Yeah, especially the big like, tower of terror. Like, we couldn't get a fast pass for Seven Horse Mine Train after our fast pass was already used. Yeah. Um, we went and tried to get another one, and we just couldn't. Um, they just weren't available. They do it now with the magic bands. You know, you get to choose your three, you get to choose your times that you go, and everybody just. But anyway, had a lot of fun, and um,
part of the night. Are you tired? No, not yet. Not at all? A little bit, but I'm not wore out. So, what time is it? Right now, 15 till 9. Well, what are we going to do? I'm going to go see the electric parade and then the fireworks and the light show. And then we're going to go ride the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. watching us um, we really enjoy doing these videos it's something that we get to do together so if you like us press subscribe right down there press subscribe share us on your pages and um, tell your friends about us subscribe to us and we're just gonna keep doing these videos just because we love to do them and we love to share our life because we just love life and um, we just have a lot of fun so but God bless everybody have a great day. Have a good day. Bye. Bye.